budgeting, you should start budgeting now. It's very important. You don't have to spend it all. Hello, everybody. My name is Tana Bloom. Subscribe. Click the little bell to get notified. Today, we are talking about budgeting 101. First things first, you need to have a balance. Whatever amount you're getting paid, that is your balance. That is what you're obviously taking money out of. Get a piece of paper, write down your balance, balance written. Step two, start collecting your receipts. Now, I know a lot of people, especially my generation, don't care about receipts, but start caring. Collect them and start writing everything down. There are three categories that you're gonna be writing down. You're gonna be writing down the date first. So today is the 12th. So 11, 12, I mean, you don't have to write the year. You should know the year. And then dash, say you went to the dollar store, you spent $12.05. That's what your receipt says. So you write down $12.05. And then right next to it, you're gonna write dollar tree. And then you can throw that receipt away. But I would like to say you should keep your receipts at least for a week, just in case you do want to return something. This is kind of how it will look. The date, the amount, and then where you got it. Now, you're going to be doing this every single time you go somewhere. So we're just doing fake ones right now. The date, the amount, and the place. And then... What I've personally been doing is I do like a little cheat sheet type thing and I do it up at the top in the margin. You get to decide what categories you have, obviously. You can use these. These are just kind of staples. We're gonna do a square for fast food slash eating out a squiggly thing for extras, things that, I don't know, gifts or plants, just random odds and ends pretty much go there. And then a slash for Charlie. That's my dog. Anything that he needs. I would put a slash for PetSmart a square for fast food subway and a little squiggle for the dollar tree so that's what it looks like again little cheat sheet will be up here and obviously you're going off of your balance so this is what i do every single month since you already know how much you're getting paid every single month you're going to want to write a cheat sheet for every single month a sort of balance that you are allowing yourself to spend every single month. I'm going to write down some things that I have. I have Charlie, which is my dog, and he gets groomed twice a month. And that's usually we do. We groom him at PetSmart because it's just the cheapest and closest place near us. So we do the $25 one, it's a cheap groom, and then $50 is the next groom. So because of that, give a little wiggle room, and I just say that Charlie is allotted $100 every single month. That's just in case like I wanna pick him up a toy or they're having an extra special deal on treats that month. Um, now that does not mean I have to spend $100 every single month. That is just what he's allowed. It's very important. You don't have to spend it all. And then groceries. This is actually something that we are changing this month. Um, groceries, as you all know, have just gotten a lot more expensive. And there's no way around it. So I do groceries slash household items. Now, household items, toilet paper, uh, candles. Uh, if I wanna pick up a rug or some kitchen utensils, things like that. Right now, 
it's at $400. We have electronics, that category. We have Wi-Fi and our Wi-Fi is 7109. I'm not gonna write all of these down, but this is kind of what this looks like. So you're gonna write down every single category that you have, um, Wi-Fi, gas, any subscriptions that you have, your pet insurance, and then the extras and going out to eat. All that should be included in your monthly bills rundown. You never have to spend the whole allotted amount that you have in your categories. Just know that if you don't spend that, well, guess what? It goes into savings and you're saving money. So you should be happy about that. That is that. If this is your first time budgeting. It's gonna take a little bit and it's gonna take some time to get used to, but that's perfectly fine. If you fail one month, that does not mean you're gonna fail the next month. Keep on going. You're gonna get through it. After every month, like I was saying before, you're going to look at your categories and you're going to be like, all right, well, I spent this this month and that this month. Yeah, I'm going to eat out less next month. And then since I'm going to eat out less, I'm going to save more. And that's kind of how that happens. It's either you buy groceries or you eat out. If you do both, you can do both. But if you're eating out and getting groceries, you're not gonna be saving much because groceries this year are an arm and a leg, unfortunately. Every, everything's just going up in price. So if you aren't budgeting, you should start budgeting now. It will save you money in the long run, even in the short run. You're gonna be saving money in a month, maybe less than. If you get paid bi-weekly, I would say that you should probably check this bi-weekly and you'll probably save even more money that way instead of doing it monthly because you'll be like, okay, first two weeks you look and you're like, oh, I think I'm spending a little bit too much money on fast food. You know, next week, I think I'm not gonna go out. I'm gonna make food at home. And there you go. You just save money even faster. It's always good to check in with yourself, check in with the numbers and budget, 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 budget. I will say it so many times budget. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you out. If you know anybody that needs help, send this video along and subscribe. All right. I will see you next time.